Hello and welcome to Capital City News. Vaccinations are underway here in Utah. For those ages 16 and older, you can now schedule your appointment. To learn more, visit coronavirus.utah.gov or your local county health department. And remember to continue to keep wearing your mask out in public, even until after April 10th or until the CDC or your county health department suggests otherwise. On our episode this week, we focus on fair housing and access. Ethan Seller with the Salt Lake City's Housing and Neighborhood Development Division fills us in. And our History Minute is about Jane Manning James, the first black woman to set foot here in Utah. Let's get started with our legislative update and look back. At its March 23rd meeting, the City Council received updates on the police budget audit and other city projects, including racial equity in policing and people experiencing homelessness. And acting as the redevelopment agency, furthered a centralized housing development loan referral program. To learn more, visit slc.gov slash council. In 2020, Utah recorded its driest year and its seventh hottest year on record. With mountain snowpack and stream flows projected to be well below average this spring, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall has issued a Stage 1 advisory to voluntarily save water as part of the city's five-state water shortage contingency plan. By activating this first stage of the plan, we can begin to spread the word on what's happening locally and the potential of experiencing a water sh shortage in the future. For more information on next steps, tips on how to evaluate, conserve, and save water, visit slc.gov slash utilities slash conservation. Don't throw away your shot to bring Utah's economy back. Businesses need your support to stay safe and stay open. Help keep employees and fellow patrons safe by continuing to wear masks and schedule your vaccination appointment today. To learn more, visit your local health department or visit coronavirus.utah.gov. Getting back to normal means getting vaccinated. This is our shot. Save money and cut air pollution. The state of Utah's lawnmower exchange program opens today. Swap out your gas-powered lawnmower for a clean electric model and receive a $300 rebate. 2,500 rebates are available to Wasatch Front residents. A minimum of 1,000 will go to Salt Lake City residents thanks to funding from Mayor Mendenhall. The city's call to halt program will even pick up your old lawnmower through a special one-time collection event. To learn more, visit lawnmower.utah.gov. In a home fire, can your family safely escape in just two minutes? It's important to know because home fires claim lives every day. Join the American Red Cross and our national movement to keep your family safe by taking two simple steps. Step one, practice your two-minute escape drill. Step two, test your smoke alarms monthly. Together, we can sound the alarm to prevent home fire tragedies. Visit soundthealarm.org slash Utah to schedule your free virtual home fire safety education appointment. April is National Fair Housing Month, and Ethan Sellers, Community Development Grant Administrator for Salt Lake City's Housing and Neighborhood Development Division, talks to us about the importance of fair housing and how to access it if you feel you've been discriminated against. So, so the Fair Housing Act was passed three days after Martin Luther King was assassinated. So it was very much tied to Dr. King's activism in trying to ensure that everyone in the country had the right to housing, which is certainly one of the most important things that a person has. And unfortunately, the problem isn't getting better because landlords have found new ways to prevent people that they don't want from living in their apartment complexes or in their neighborhoods. They they found new ways to prevent that from happening. What forms does this sort of discrimination take? How, like, if you could give me an example of what this looks like, because I think for a lot of people, it's just like, well, how, what is facing discrimination mean as far as trying to get an apartment? Like, what is that? What, what can that look like? What we typically see in the state of Utah is when someone's viewing an apartment, uh, looking to purchase a home, that there's 
the landlord might tell them one thing where they would tell another person of another identity something completely different. And so in the most recent data, there was over 28,000 complaints of housing discrimination in the United States. And unfortunately, it's a lot higher than that. It's, it's in the millions of people that think that they were discriminated against in any way. And the numbers keep going up every year uh, is unfortunately there's an uptick in housing related hate activity. And there's also been an increase, unfortunately, in hate crimes involving people who have been harassed in their neighborhoods or at home. And then with mortgage denials and approvals, there's unfortunately been um, people based on their racial and ethnic identities been charged higher interest rates, higher deposits, higher rent. And that's something that is banned in the Fair Housing Act. And so hopefully we can continue to get the word out that this is, isn't something that needs to happen. Is this available to anyone? What are the what are the criteria that we would need to use to be able to qualify for for getting help from the city or any of these other partners uh, to access the Fair Housing Act if we feel like we've been discriminated against? And what um, what resources are there for us to do that? We'd encourage anyone to contact um, the advocates in the state if they feel they've been discriminated against. They don't need proof. They just need. Um, if they feel they've been discriminated against in any way. So there's the, the Disability Law Center. And so their number, they're, they're in Salt Lake City and they provide protection for the entire state. And their number is 800-662-9080. And then additionally, there's the Anti-Discrimination and Labor Division through the state of Utah. And their phone number is 801-530-6800. If, for instance, I witness something that I would view as discriminatory, even though it didn't affect me, what can I do about that? I would encourage anyone that that hears something or sees something that they certainly have the opportunity to report that to, to the Disability Law Center or to the State Labor Commission. And they will take that investigation up as well on their end. For anybody who wants to find out more information about the Fair Housing Act, how it works, how to access these resources. Is there a place you can send them? Uh, where, where should they go for more information about all of this? Yeah, we have resources compiled on the HAND website through the city. And then also, again, the Disability Law Center, um, they have advocates and attorneys that will walk people through the process if they have any questions about the different components of the law and how it impacts them. Next up is our History Minute. Jane Manning James was the first recorded black woman to enter Utah, and she resided here for more than 50 years. Born in the 1820s to emancipated parents, she converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and from her home in Connecticut, walked to Nauvoo, Illinois, where she became a servant to the religion's founder, Joseph Smith. After Smith was killed, she went to work in the household of Brigham Young, where she met her husband, Isaac James. Together, they walked their family to Salt Lake City and were among some of the first pioneers to settle here. Jane stayed in Salt Lake City for the rest of her life, living a prosperous life with her husband. Her devotion to the church was important to her, and she spent her days requesting access to the temple to perform ceremonies she felt were vital to her eternal salvation. Because she was black, however, her family was not able to participate. She passed away in 1908 and was buried at Salt Lake City Cemetery. Today, a monument to her life sits not far from her gravestone. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Capital City News. As we mentioned in the beginning of the episode, vaccinations are underway here in Utah. To schedule your appointment, visit your local county health department or visit coronavirus.utah.gov. Thank you for joining us. We hope you tune in next time. For SLC TV, I'm Poonam Kumar, signing off from the Salt Palace.